so that was uh, a great Bible study, right? That uh, Lee and Keegan gave for us. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for that. All right, so what was the point of us doing that? Like, uh, like we said, or like we've been saying uh, this whole time, really everything that we're doing here, everything that we're training you guys in, uh, is for the sake of being reproducible, for the sake of, um, of you being able to do that same kind of thing um, with people that you meet this summer or, and beyond. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this would be something that, a Bible study that you could do with some people that you meet. Uh, let's say you've done the 411 with somebody. Remember, at the end of the 411, we asked, hey, is there uh, a time that we can meet? Uh, is there anybody that, that you can bring along with you? Well, what are we going to do during that meeting time? We're going to do this, what, what Keegan and Lee just did. Uh, we call it the pattern of care. So if you look in your books, there should be a page that says pattern of care on the top. That's what we're going to be talking about. Pattern of care. Cool, everybody's there? Cool, so we're going to analyze what Lee and Keegan just did so that you can uh, break it up and, uh, and do it with uh, your friends that you meet this summer. Uh, so what they did, you notice that there was three different parts to it. There's the first part, looking back. There's the second part, that's not a K, looking back, looking up. And the third, I think there's a typo in your books. It's not a second looking up, it's looking ahead. And we can break this down further into seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the first one uh, you can see on your books is care. So Lee started with some care. Who remembers what Lee did? For the, well, let me explain what care is. Care is, uh, you know, you want to make the, the people that you're meeting with, you want them to be careful feel cared for. Um, so who remembers what Lee talked about? Yes, yeah, so highs and lows. So you said like, well, was some encouraging uh, thing, something that was not so discouraging. Um, there's different things that you can use for that one. Uh, I know I use highs and lows most often. Um, but yeah, that's a cool one. Uh, second is worship. Who remembers what Lee did for that one. What he had us do. Did you pray through a psalm? Exactly. So we pray through a psalm, sing a song. Um, yeah, I know sometimes it's a little awkward to sing songs together, uh, but awkward is okay. We like awkward. <laughs> uh, then there is last in the first third uh, was vision cast. So that one's a little uh, less self-explanatory. <laughs> Um, what, is a, what is a vision cast? What does it mean to, to cast vision? Uh, I'd say... To, okay. I'd say... What? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Care slash worship. Accountability. Good catch. Uh, so yeah, so accountability. Um, a lot of times, uh, over here we set some goals. A lot of times, if this isn't your first time meeting with somebody, you'll be like, okay, what were your goals from last week? Uh, let's talk about those. How did the, those go this week? Um, this time, since it was our first time doing this, we did something a little bit different. Who remembers what we did? Yeah, we talked about our quiet times. What was something that you read in the Word recently? Uh, so yeah, accountability. Then, vision cast. Again, it's kind of looking at, hey, this is my group. What is something that I want them to grow in? What is something that, um, that I, God has shown me that, that they need to be growing in? Or like, how can I uh, get them excited about sharing uh, with the lost, reaching the lost? Uh, and then taking that and turning it into, or finding a, a story or an image or something that can uh, really get that vision cast, I guess, uh, for lack of a better way to say it. Um, 
But who remembers Lee's vision cast? Costco. Yeah, he talked about Costco. He talked about uh, Moses and the serpent, all that kind of stuff. That was all part of his vision cast there. Uh, and then Keegan came up. So this was looking back. So you notice all of these things are kind of looking back, uh, accountability, looking back to last week, how are your goals, that kind of stuff. Looking up is kind of looking at God, looking at his word. Uh, who remembers what, or the new lesson? Who remembers what the new lesson was that Keegan shared with us? All right, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Something like that. That was Luke 19. Uh, so yeah, we went through uh, the story. I remember he shared the story with us first, and then he had us share the story with each other, uh, and then he had us read through it, make sure we got the story correct. We don't want to uh, keep sharing the story and not make sure that we're getting it correct. Um, and then he went through a series of questions. Uh, the ones that he used was, uh, we call it the sword method. Um, I'm not really sure why it's called the sword method. But he asked uh, a few questions. What do we learn about God? What do we learn about man? And then there's a little acronym. Spec. What are some sins to avoid? Promises to claim? Uh, examples to follow? Commands to obey? Um, yeah, that's a great way to uh, analyze the passage that you read. Uh, and then there was, um, like, what stood out? What can you, or who can you relate with? All that kind of stuff. So that's looking up. And then last is looking ahead. Uh, we've got practice. So a lot of times during the practice, something that I like to do is, you know, practice some of the tools that we learned. So you could say, you know, these are people that you've uh, already met with, maybe somebody that you've already shared the 411 with, shared the, uh, the three circles with. So you can say, hey, let's practice one of the tools uh, that I taught you earlier. Um, or like what we did uh, today was we kind of practiced the lesson that we just learned. Um, so that's the practice. Uh, after practice is you've got setting goals. Setting goals. Who remembers what kind of goals uh, we talked about? Or like there was an acronym, yeah, COST. Some other ones you guys have probably heard of. Uh, oats goals, we talked about that one last year, or following and fishing goals, um, that kind of stuff. So setting goals, you know, how am I going to be obeying God? How am I going to be um, reaching the lost? Very important. Uh, and then last, what was the last thing that we did? We prayed, yeah. Prayer. Um, cool, so this is the seven parts of the pattern of care, broken down into three parts, looking back, looking up, looking ahead. So a lot of times I'll say, um, let's say you, you meet up with somebody, this happens all the time. We're like, hey, let's meet at three o'clock on Thursday uh, for a, about an hour and we can go through this Bible study. And then you get there and you're like, okay, so we got an hour, right? And then your person's like, oh, I got class in half an hour. And you're like, oh no, how am I going to get through all seven of these parts in half an hour? Um, I'd say it's okay to abbreviate it. Sometimes, um, yeah, for the, for the interest of time, you're going to have to get rid of some of these parts. Uh, I'd say that there are four main parts that you do not want to cut out. Um, who, can have some, who has some guesses as to the important parts that you want to keep in? Accountability. Accountability, exactly. That's an important one. Vision cast. Vision cast. Setting, goals. Setting goals. Man, you guys know what you're talking about. Prayer. Not prayer, practice, yes. So these are really important ones. I mean, I'd say that they're all very important. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, well, what, not, what about the new lesson? You know, the Bible is very important. Yes, I would say the Bible is very important. And I would not say cut it out if you don't have to cut it out. Uh, but these are the ones that really uh, produce reproducibility. These are the ones um, that get people going, especially like the vision cast. That's the thing that, that gets people excited about sharing, sharing with the lost. That's what gets people excited about obeying Jesus. Um, Setting goals, you know, just like with the end of the 411, how are you going to put things into practice until you start setting goals for it? Um, but this is the pattern of care. Any questions about the pattern of care? Cool. So break up with your uh, 
your training partner and explain all of the different parts of the pattern of care. Cool. Hey, real quick, before you guys break up, we're going to pass out a bookmark um, that kind of goes through the pattern of care a little bit and has maybe some descriptions on it. Um, so after I get most of, a lot of you have seen something like this, and maybe it's in a different order than you've seen before, or maybe the numbers are in a different spot, and that's okay. Probably a lot of the tools we show, um, you know, we're, we're not, we don't need tied to the tool specifically. We're, the tool is not the answer. The tool is just there to, to help us. Um, so I think some of these tools change, and some of them, the place gets put in a different spot or whatever. So I don't want you to get caught on that. Uh, so when you look at this, you know, for me, I, I first look at this, I'm like, I'm used to four, four things in the first third. Uh, our first part. It's care, separate, worship, accountability, and then here's only two things. Well, that, but they're the same things that are on there. When you read this card that's just getting handed out, it's going to have something a little different. It has something called plan, which is the same as setting goals. So I just want you to share that with you just as you as you're look at some of the resources we've used, some things we piece together that we've put together, some things we piece together from other people's stuff we kind of borrow. There's nothing new under the sun. Um, uh, just don't get caught up on that, because I know it, we can sometimes, but kind of if you've got a different terminology, that, that may be fine. Um, but just kind of want to point that out as you look at these things. But hopefully this bookmark can help you in describing some of that yourself. So uh, like JD said, go ahead and break down and then describe the pattern of care uh, to your training buddy. So break. <laughs>